most people will look at the images and try to connect them to reality. And I think that's a mistake. We need to look at the image itself and see how it tries to communicate with us. I grew up in Jerusalem under Israeli occupation. It took me 38 years to free my imagination from the Israeli occupation in Jerusalem. It's not an easy life. Most people think they are, when they are under occupation, it's only physical. I found that it's not only physical, it's mental. So I grew up living in mental exile in Jerusalem, and I had to suffer a lot from this. So I needed to cleanse my system from the, this occupation. And once I did, I went back on track to decode what it means to live in this world. When I left Jerusalem, I felt completely in exile, in a state of alienation. In London, living in that high perched city, it intensified my feeling of alienation. So I did Windows for two reasons. First of all, you look from inside, outside, and how the world looks at me. But I felt completely out of place. I neither belonged here or there. So I questioned my belonging. Where do I belong? Usually I deal with windows, but in metamorphosis, I dealt with barbed wire. I stitched my wounds with barbed wire, and it became an organic extension of my body. And once I did that, I became very strong. I freed myself. If you look at this image there, you can see the wall, a reflection of the wall in water. It looks concrete, but look very carefully, it's liquefying, it's dissolving. And this is how I started to free myself. But notice something, it's all done in the imagination. So there is the power of the mind that can achieve freedom. I have a show in London, a ret retrospective show. I took out all text. I even took out the titles of the works. So I wanted the spectator to enter the gallery space to go through a visual journey. They understood everything I needed to say without me saying it. Most galleries, they start with text. No, let's go back. Let's start with the image itself. And if there is text, it's secondary to the understanding and appreciation of art. If I look at my art, I see I was going through a process of uh, finding my own freedom or reclaiming myself. And I see my work is about consciousness. If we manage to convince ourselves that we are free, we are a free people.